Hello and welcome to Trivia Night Online, brought to you by the People's Trivia Company. My name is Austin. I am your trivia host tonight, local celebrity, delivering you, the people, six rounds of trivia. Uh, if you are watching not live, I will be interacting with the live crew who's watching us like a live studio audience. Uh, they'll be sending in heckles in between rounds. They're going to be making fun of the way I pronounce things. Whole nine yards. I read those heckles. I'm Jack. That's Jack. Jack's going to be helping us out tonight. She's reading heckles. And she's also helping the, out the chat if they get any questions. All right. Great. Let's go. Let's get started, right? First round is going to be general knowledge. No rhyme or reason to these eight questions. Just eight questions we toss together for your amusement. Good luck, everybody. I believe in all of you and love most of you. Here we go. Johnny Blaze is the alter ego of what soul-selling demon hunter who was portrayed by Nicolas Cage in a 2007 movie and its 2012 sequel. Question number one again, Johnny Blaze. Such a cool name. Is the alter ego of what soul-selling demon hunter who was portrayed by Nicolas Cage in a 2007 movie and its 2012 sequel? It's question number one. Question two. In September 2019, what American Idol winner got her own daytime talk show on NBC, which generally serves as the lead-in to the Ellen DeGeneres show? And here come the pretzels. Number two again. In September 2019, what American Idol winner got her own daytime talk show on NBC, which generally serves as the lead-in to the Ellen DeGeneres show? The answers. Oh, the answers. Yeah, let me get those answers for you. That might help out. What the check? Question three. Zinedine Zidane headbutted an opponent in a 2006 FIFA World Cup match. His final game playing for which country? I believe a version of this question popped up in our Trivia Olympics sports, which we held. Uh, feels like 15 years ago. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm not sure what my hair looks like then. I might just re-record those. We, we recently went back to watch the first episode, and boy. My, it's different. We it's evolved. different. We evolved, folks. Number three again, Zinedine Zidane, sports question. Headbutted an opponent in a 2006 FIFA World Cup match, his final career game playing for which country? People loving the sports question in chat. <laughs> Quote, unquote. People who don't like it are just calmly keeping it to themselves like they do for every other trivia round. Sports is the only one where people get mad. So you guys are being appropriate. I love you guys. Well, I don't know. There's some hate on the video game rounds, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sweats nervously. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> I'm so excited. The War on Poverty, the creation of the National Endowment for the Arts, and two landmark civil rights acts were all part of what U.S. president's series of great society programs? We made it. Oh. Oh, you're playing from Santa Barbara. Welcome, Bree. Wow. Uh, welcome, Bree. You're moving right now. They're moving up the oh, up the left coast. You got a big move. That's completely out of order, by the way. I, I am a math major. Oh no! Wait, I can't do this. I'll do it again. <laughs> uh, welcome. I'm glad you guys are playing trivia tonight in the middle of a move. In the middle of a move. Thank you. That's that's loyalty. And by the way, we are keeping track of how many hours everyone plays. There's gonna be a winner at the end of this. I think I just need round one. Great. Number four, again, uh, the War on Poverty, the creation of the National Endowment for the Arts and two landmark civil rights acts were all part of what U.S. President's right. series of great society programs? Or forget it. I got it. You got it? I got it. All right, we got this. Thank you. <laughs> Question five, round one. Connecting the pharynx and the larynx to the lungs, what organ of the body is commonly called the windpipe? Question. Number five, again, connecting the pharynx and the larynx to the lungs. What organ of the body is commonly called the windpipe? Question number six. <clears throat> I don't know if 
know how to restart the session. I'm trying to restart the session. Connecting the... F uh, the OWL is the professional league for what eSport? First for a team first-person shooter released by Blizzard in 2016. Question number six again. The OWL is the professional league for what eSport? A first-person team shooter. Sorry, squirrel. You don't even know where you're there. Released by Blizzard in 2016. Number seven. Esports question. <laughs> See, no one gets mad about esports. Technically, video games. Number seven. What tiny country surrounded by France on three sides is both the most densely populated and the wealthiest per capita country on Earth? <laughs> question seven again. What tiny country surrounded by France on three sides is both the most densely populated, populated and the wealthiest per capita country on Earth? Still says squirrel. Says squirrel is it. <laughs> Maybe because she didn't. Mm, we'll see. We'll see how far that takes look how long it takes for that to reset. Number eight. What is the name of the nineteen sixty nine rock opera album by the Who that tells the story of a deaf, dumb and blind kid who can sure play a mean pinball? Question number eight again. Last question for the round. What is the name of the 1969 rock opera album by The Who that tells the story of a deaf, deaf, dumb, and blind kid who can sure play, I mean, pinball? Uh-oh. Could you ask if we have an egg? I seem to be all right with the stream. Anyone else have any issues? If you do, put a ice cube chat in chat. We get that specific logo in an ice cube for these freeze scenarios. All right, we're going to keep this on screen for about five seconds. Then we're going to check in with Jack and the heckle cam. And then we're going to read, you know, your heckles. And then we're moving right on to the answer. So move quickly. Get those answers in, folks. Don't dawdle. Please don't dawdle. Tell your scribe to move, sucka. Move. Tell them to jam, sucka. Jam. Move, sucka, move. I'm the renegade of funk. Uh, let's see. We got, we got, we got one. We got one right now. We're gonna read it. Let's say hi to Jack and the Heckle Cam. Hi, Hello, heckle Jack. Cam. Boop. There I heckle am. I love uh, it. <laughs> uh, our heckle comes from Sergio. Hey, Sergio. It is a devilish heckle. Wow. Sergio says, "Funny, useless, cleverly written test of knowledge. Trivial pursuers rise up and." Unite. May we once again live in a land of prudence and thoughtful civility. I oh, I, I, believe, I see now. I believe it's called an acrostic. Uh, no, orange eggplant potato. There we go. I appreciate the support. And like the no emoji, like the red circle with the right. cross through it. Then Indeed. an orange, then an eggplant, then a potato emoji. I'm so good at reading heckles. I've been doing this for so long. I've Pro. nailed it. Episode 91, right? Perf 91? Episode 91, week 27, I believe. Okay, that's all the that's all the heckles I have for now. Bye, Jack. 91. 91. We started this on March 17th. March 17th, we started this. I can't stop, won't stop. Let's go over the answers, folks. Get in your answers. Get in your answers. I think session. I don't know what session means. I have like, I'll figure that out. I can figure that out. All right, answers. I'm waiting for, as you see a couple trickling in, one more, one more, go, 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 go. Because if you submit your answers after we say them, we won't give you the point. Here we go, round one, question one. You want more time in between? Yeah, you can. You can do that. 
Johnny Blaze is the alter ego what soul-selling demon hunter who is portrayed by Nick Cage in a 2007 movie and its 2012 sequel. We're looking for Ghost Rider there. Ghost Rider is answer number one. Oh, I understand now. The eggplant and the potato uh. is a is a penis and then a potato, also known uh, dick, and then tater was what they, they might have been going out of. Boy, do I love the support. Uh, number two. You want your message out there through heckles. There we go. That's what we do now. Uh, in September 2019, what American Idol winner got her own daytime talk show on NBC? Look for Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson is the right answer there. Kelly Clarkson. Number three, uh, Zinedine Zidane headbutted an opponent in 2006 World Cup match with his final career game playing for which country? France. France is the right answer there. Thank you so much, Dan, for the super chat. You're currently the most recent contender. I don't know how to... I'm figuring out how to change the person in charge. We're working it out, but thank you so much. War on Poverty, creation of the National Endowment for the Arts and two landmark civil rights acts, part of what U.S. President series of great society programs? L Lyndon B. Johnson, LBJ. LBJ, number five. Connecting the pharynx and the larynx to the lungs, what organ of the body is commonly called the windpipe? The trachea. We needed the trachea here. Mm, medicine. Six. The OWL is the professional league for what eSport team first-person shooter released by Blizzard 2016? Overwatch. Overwatch, the right answer there. I gotta replace that. Uh, seven, what tiny country surrounded by France on three sides is both the most densely populated and the wealthiest per capita country on Earth? Monaco. 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 What's the name of the 1969 rock opera album? If you send us through Venmo and I'll stop singing. Uh, album by The Who tells the story of a deaf, dumb, and blind kid who can oh, sure yeah. play a mean pinball. It's the pinball with... Oh, Tommy! <laughs> uh, my favorite answer there is Ghost Rider. Uh, favorite answer submitted, Ghost Rider for number eight. Folks, how'd you do? Folks, how'd you do? If you think that maybe we got an answer wrong, if you think that possibly maybe we got an answer wrong, Tell your scribe, and after round number six, we're, there's a spot for us for them to submit that so we can take a look after the game is over. Uh, we do a little bit of research. We like to do the appropriate amount of research. Not really great to do it live while we're trying to... we got so many plates spinning. Uh, so plead your case. We'll look into it. We promise we'll look into all of them. There's also a spot after round number six for your scribe to uh, give any feedback, any comments, suggestions, good or bad. Please, give us all the feedback you, you can. We very much appreciate it. Uh, it helps us improve the show. Uh, like small ideas, just whatever, throw it out there, we'll try it. Uh, or if you can send your send them to an email, uh, email us at peoplestributeco at gmail.com. Post your score in chat. Post your score in chat. If you see that 6 out of 8, see that 8 out of 8, you see a custom emoji, that's because those are members. You too can become a member, get those custom emojis if you support the show through joining that join button. $1.99, get those emojis. And some custom content. Coming up soon, a, picture, or a video of our cat. Round 2 is inventions. Let's get this off the screen. Round two is gonna be inventions. I got new I got new shortcuts on my keyboard tonight, so I'm I'm nervous. In this round, I'm gonna ask questions about inventions named after their inventor. I believe in every one of these cases I need the name of the invention. Okay? In every one of these, I'm looking for the name of an name of an invention. Good luck. Round two, question one. This writing system for the visually impaired, this question should end here, uh, is named after its creator, a blind Frenchman. Let's get the team scroll updated. I think I can make it that big. I think I can make it that big. Let's make it that big. Oops. Number one again, this writing system for the visually impaired is named after its creator, a blind Frenchman. Ignore everything going on in front of the giant head. Fixed it. Who said the Padres smell like farts? Where? Who? Where? One of the team names is the I'll, Padres smell like farts. I'll, I'll They're in the playoffs. talk to their mom. You do. I'll just don't, tell them, don't tell them it was me, though. No. Number two. This amusement ride debuted in Chicago in 1893, and the current tallest one is 550 feet high in Las Vegas. I'm going to say all the team names tonight. I'm going to say all the team names tonight, except for the ones I hate. 
How about that, monsters? This amusement ride debuted in Chicago in 1893, and the current tallest one is 550 feet high in Las Vegas. I need the name of the invention or the thing, but these are all named after their inventors. Let's add a team's playing tonight. Monchichi Army, Horn Pub Master Debater Society. Ah, oh, that's great. Trademark that. Broomsticks and Butterbeer. That's a great Harry Potter podcast. Rosebud Motel. Thank you again so much for the cat toys. Yeah. Again, a video of uh, Shadow going right to those will be posted soon. Uh, the Padres smell like farts. Helen Keller versus <laughs> RC Cola. Cut twice, measure once. Welcome to the game. You didn't read that one there. Which one? The Padres. I said the Padres smell like farts. Number three. <laughs> This food storage product is often sold at its namesake parties. Question three again. This food storage product is often sold at its namesake parties. P-A-R-T-Y, because I got a... Uh, that eliminated batch, Carol Baskin. I'm not sure that's an appropriate way to censor that. I think I still have to censor that. <laughs> I think I... Because it's still the swear word. Uh, I know. I think they're referencing how you censored something. Darn it. <laughs> Did I botch it? Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> Wait, you tell me. I, don't, I didn't want you to... What? <laughs> what? You run the... You did put the F word up. I thought you knew. I don't oh, know. I dropped that. I dropped I deleted it. Oh, oh okay. The F word well, is still up. Okay. Number four again. This machine's inventor. Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> That's one of your jobs now. I'm not to say anything. I'm sorry. Has been inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, the U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame, and the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, if, I did just drop it, the ball. If I accidentally put up a swear word, would it be okay if maybe you give me a heads up? Okay, I will. I, I intend really to not that. have swear words on there. But you knew. You took it down, so then we're fine. Yeah, I thought you were talking about something else. I thought, I, I thought it was a completely different botch, because that's possible. <laughs> that's possible. Oh, boy, is that possible. For, again, this machine's in... Inventor has been inducted to the National Inventors Hall of Fame, U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame, and the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. Names are still cut off? What names are cut off? Oh, I can fix that. Well, then your name's too long. How about that? How about that? Oh, my name's cut off. Oh, how about your name is the longest name ever? <laughs> huh? How about that? How about that? Top that. Top that. Top that. Top that. Top that. Number five, this piece of laboratory equipment, we're not drunk yet, uh, which produces a flame was invented by its namesake, 1854. How about the problem isn't the size of my text? How about the size of your team name is the problem? How about that? I've been saying this forever. <laughs> Maybe this will rein your team names in. Icarus? Icarus? Possible name of the episode is Icarus. Okay, not top that. Top that Icarus. <laughs> top that Icarus. So far, the name of the episode. Yes, it's a Teen Witch reference. Number six. <laughs> or five again, real quick. This piece of laboratory equipment produces a flame, was invented by its namesake, 1854. Number it's, six. If I'm going to be dead on, it's, it's, uh, it's a how did this get made <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reference. Yeah. But yes, it is also a Teen Witch. Chat pointing out, this is hard to do while watching the debate. Uh, I can help you out with that. Turn the debate off. Uh, six. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to no. learn anything new. Uh, this invention is used, but vote. Uh, this invention is used for detecting and measuring the ionization, I'm sorry, ionizing radiation, and is sometimes known by the name of its co-creator, Walter Mueller. You can watch the debate. That's fine. Feel free to get be informed, folks. It's Watch the debate. I'm kidding. It's going on at the same time. I know. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm making the joke like, hey, it's either me or that. Like, ah, it's either me. But, you know, vote. Be informed. I'm a trivia clown. Seven, six again. This invention is used for detecting and measuring ionizing radiation and is sometimes known by the name of its co-creator, Walter Mueller. You know that's pronounced with a V because of the umlaut. In the same. Number seven. This invention, the world's best selling puzzle game and possibly the world's best selling toy, was created by a Hungarian sculptor in 1974. Because how many letters do you need in a team name? Like, look at all these teams that are capable of getting the message across <laughs> so that I can keep it at a font that's readable. But on here, and when I post the scores, 
These long teams, I gotta shrink it down to font size three. Precious seconds of my life. I pleaded with you. You could be playing Hades. I could be playing Hades with that time. Precious seconds. Last. Or penultimate one more time. This invention, world's best-selling puzzle game, possibly the world's best-selling toy, created by a Hungarian sculptor in 1974. Last question, number eight. This specific type of container, specific, was invented in 1858 and is known for the metal ring that screws down on the lid for usage in home canning and preservation. This specific type of container was invented in 1858 and is known for the metal ring that screws down on the lid for usage in home canning and preservation. For this round, all the answers must be the invention that's named after its inventor, all right? If it's not, or there's a co-creator, I think we mentioned it, but if you give me like another name for it, wrong answer. Wrong. Um, we need the, all the answers are things that are named after its inventor. All right, five seconds, this will be on the screen, and then we're gonna check in with Jack to read whatever heckles we have, and then we're moving right on to the answers. So if we don't have that many heckles, we're not moving on, we're not, or we're moving on very quickly. All right, here are the rest of the uh, team names. Don Ditas, Don Ditas, Dr. Nihilism Crane, Half Dome Homies, Sonic Boomers, Sonic Boom, er, Sonic Boom, er, uh, Paleo Monorail, Just Shut Up Man, good advice. Uh, Impotent Rage, Beer, Playoff Baseball and Money, yeah, you're right, go Padres. S'more Trivia Night, Clavern, Chewy's Champions. Welcome, Chewy's Champions. Mirror, mirror. John, that's a weird team name, and I love it. Uh, Enforcers, Johnny Walker, Texas Ranger, B. Saps, and Meat. Spelled. Uh, meat. Pro proteinly. Yeah. Like the protein. All right, let's say hi to Jack. Hi, Jack, and the Heckle Cam. Hi, hecklers, and yeah. the trivia game. You got a little more color in your face now. Good. Oh, okay. good. A little more, a little more. A little more. Uh, we have a heckle, and this is... I was trying to think of a clever way to name these heckles, but I'll just call it a pie heckle. It's a pie heckle. It's a heckle. pie heckle. Uh, Sir, Sergio says, Amber asks, what do you get when you divide the circumference of a pumpkin by its diameter? Pumpkin pie. I kind of gave it away there. I'm sorry. Uh, a grimace emoji. Uh, Jack-o'-lantern emoji. 3.14 emoji. Unicorn grid of dials. You just typed in 3.14 emoji. You found the grid of dials, but you just typed in. You could have put a pie. You could have put a pie. There's plenty of pie emojis. Love the heckle. That's great. Thank you so much, Sergio, for providing a, a nice little buffer here in the heckle. Uh, and thank you, for Amber, for the cute joke. Uh, Sarge's wife is uh, saying, I put that on its wall. Uh, <laughs> I love it. All right, that's it. That's all we got, folks. Say okay. goodbye to Jack and the Heckle Cam. Goodbye. Turn in those answers. Get them in. Get in the answers right now. Get in the answers. It's time for answers. Round two answers. Number one, this writing system for the visually impaired is named after its creator, a blind Frenchman. Braille. You didn't need to know. You did not need to name the inventor. We're just going to provide that for you. Just, you know, as a, the more you know. Braille is number one. Number two. This amusement ride debuted in, in Chicago in 1893, and the current tallest one is 550 feet high in Las Vegas. Uh, Ferris wheel. We needed a Ferris wheel for this one. Ferris wheel is number two. George Washington Gale Ferris Jr. Number three. This food storage product is often sold at its namesake parties. Tupperware, named for Earl Tupper. People are wishing they, they would have just played the first couple of rounds of trivia instead of watching that debate. Yeah, that was... I watched the first part. Number four. This machine's inventor has been inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, the U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame, and the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. Zamboni! Frank Zamboni. Number five. This piece of laboratory equipment produces a flame invented by its namesake in 1854. We're looking for a Bunsen burner. Robert Bunsen is the answer we're looking for that fits the theme. Tough, tough round. Number six. This invention is used for detecting and measuring... Ionizing radiation and is sometimes known by the name of its co-creator, Walter Mueller, the Geiger counter. Hans Geiger is the person we're referencing there. The Geiger counter is what we needed there. Zamboni. Almost a great name. <laughs> oh, Zamboni. I love that. Uh, this invention. This, that, I, was, I like that. Uh, this invention, world's best-selling puzzle game and possibly world's best-selling toy, was created by a Hungarian sculptor in 1974. A Rubik's Cube by 
Erno Rubik. And finally, number eight, the specific type of container was invented in 1858 and is known for the metal ring that screws down on the lid for usage in home canning and preservation. A mason jar by John Landis Mason. John Landis Mason. Folks, how'd you do? Post your score for round number two. Post your round two score in chat. Let us see how you did. Let us see how you did. See the phrase, cut twice, measure once. That's a whole phrase, the catchphrase. It fits. You can see it cleanly. But some of these team names are way crazy long and I, I cannot accommodate any longer <laughs> because well I like the Carol ba I like the Carol Baskin team names but like they've, they've always had like a like a four sentence prologue which is funny because I have to hunt for the word to censor you guys are great but the game of cat and mouse <laughs> I have to car logos get the car person in your team ready car logos I'm going to show you part of a car logo ah uh, I'm going to show you the bottom left corner of a car logo. All right? You name the car. Brand that we're looking... Don't give me, like, the, the company that owns them, right? I need the car brand or, like, company that uses that logo, like, on the front of the car. That's a blank car, all right? Don't say it. But they were owned by blank. I do not care. It is the logo I'm looking at. I don't care about parent companies, affiliates, whatever. Round three, number one. Good luck. I came off as aggressive, but I just wanted to be, like, stern. I was going for stern. Did it go well? Why did, it, why did something get deleted before? No, qu no, yeah, no. Question I asked. I understand. That's, that's their dog, which makes it fine. Here. Oh, it's all right. I can, I can, I can. Oh, thank you. Oh. I was like, nobody needs to know that. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Number one, name the car company or brand that uses that logo. All right. That's what I'm looking for. Number two. Oh, by the way, the People's Mug, currently the best-selling mug. <laughs> that's actually selling. Like we had the Dr. Wine shirt. We sold a couple of those. That was great. Uh, we still have the Dr. Wine shirt available. Shadow 2020, the time is meow, is available. Unmute me, I'm saying something important. All those shirts available. Merch.peoplestribute.co. But the mug. Uh, Y'all wanted the mug, and we 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 know this now. Great. It's I think it's like $9.99 is what I priced it at, plus tax and shipping. Number two. Just the fact that you guys wanted it was cool. We just want to put that out there. If you need a mug, Merch.peoplestribute.co. I priced it. I did not... Pri I, I'm not, you know... You get. You don't get the royalties for the mug... Teddy, yeah, come on. it's just my logo. Did you design it? You're not. Our, you're you're not literally our, paid someone else. We literally paid someone else to do that. Was it Ali uh, recently uh, shared on social media a picture of her mug? So they got there. By the way, those of you who are who are, who are kind and generous and, and great and awesome enough to have picked that merch up, let us know about the quality. That's a new vendor that we're going with. Um, let us know about the quality of those products. Okay. We have some of, like, we, have, we ordered some of the things. We didn't order all, but we ordered some that are, that are coming our way soon. Uh, but if you've already got them and they suck, I need to know about that, all right? So let me know if they're, like, if they're, like, or if they're great. Let us know. We'll keep going with them. But thank you, guys. Number three. Fidel and Christopher have, in chat, have their mugs. Fidel picked up a mug? He got, Christopher picked He got my, his three mugs. That's great. Thank you so much for picking up the mugs. Quality looks good. Good to know. Okay, just want to know. But, like, after a couple of uses, you're like, hey, Austin, this mug busted, like, by picking it up. I didn't even do anything, like, just so we can know, so we know. I didn't put the time is meow on everything, plus no one's bought that shirt in a while, Teddy. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I love that. Great job. We haven't job. done that yet? No. Okay. No. And even if we have, we not that one specifically. Okay, good. Number four. Good quality? Good to know. Okay, good report. Thanks so much. You guys are great. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. I think it's just cool that... I like our logo, by the way. I really like our logo. I'm a big fan of our logo. It's a good logo. Looks like a... Like a soda label or beer label or something. If any of you guys out there make custom belt buckles, I want to talk. You know? I want to talk. Number five. If you know a silversmith... Huh? Let's talk. Number five. It's 
a little easier. Oh, chat, Chris and chat. We love you guys and need you now more than ever. Oh, we no, we love oh, you. We love you. Uh, we're here. Wow, this is sweet. This whole thing started with a, uh, you know, us providing a service and a distraction, and we're we're gonna keep doing it. Partly, partly because my old job was doing these trivia nights in person in bars, restaurants, and breweries, and. That's not possible Don't right now. Want people to gather over answer sheets. Good news for a lost of fans, by the in. way. Yeah, because we like we like had to hand stuff back and forth and pens and answer sheets. We have to think. We have to like redefine our business. Right now, we're keeping afloat doing this, and we appreciate you being here. So that's why we're kind of going full bore into the online thing because we kind of have to. Number six, you guys are great. Yeah, it's because we say so. I think I like it. Okay. If that's what it is. I just want to make sure. I'm not 100% sure with this. It's... I like okay. it. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. About Alasta. I'm very sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. About Alasta. Um, uh, the LA... Uh, they, they, the LA... Uh, Board of... Uh, like Commerce or something like that? Not Board of Commerce. It's their uh, city council. Uh, they're going to be able to... Uh, uh, breweries in LA County can open outdoors in about a week. Uh, they approved that to happen. So fans, that was the thing that Alasta was very much looking forward to. Sorry, thank you. I didn't mean to cut that off. Good news for Alasta uh, and Covina, one of our big supporters. Number seven. Yeah, LA City Council, I believe, just passed something that says breweries can now uh, host out. To, even though we're like, restaurants could, it's the breweries specifically weren't able to, and that was really hurting a lot of LA County breweries. Because uh, they couldn't uh, sit anyone outdoors even though everyone else could which they were a bit upset with. Even And also they were maintaining the food requirement. Anyway. About a week. Here's number seven. Identify the car company brand. I'm looking forward to halftime, by the way. Or halftime round. Got some new bells and whistles for the halftime round. Happy to be here tonight, by the way. Busy week last week. Here's number eight, by the way. Here's number eight, last one for the round. So many of those. Last one. Identify the car company brand. Busy, busy week on top of our three regular shows last week. Uh, we ran, uh, Jack and I ran two private events. We, if you want to book your own private event, want your own private trivia event, uh, let us know. PeoplesTriviaCo at gmail.com. PeoplesTriviaCo at gmail.com. You have to have that co. Uh, PeoplesTriviaCo at gmail.com goes to a guy in Ohio. He's a very nice guy, but he also runs a trivia company. And he might try and book you, but then when he shows up, you're like... You're not Austin. You are a gentleman that calls yourself the captain. I uh, hope you didn't, you know, pay too much. He's good. He seems very nice, but it's not me. People should be code gmail.com. I'm going to book your own trivia party. We did two of those. Yeah. We did two of those. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Customized it for the party. One was for a corporate. One was for a personal. A birthday. We had a, we had a birthday celebration. It was a surprise trivia night. Yeah. Which was great. I don't want to say any names because unless they unless they come out and say it, but I just want to say we had a great time. And we also did one, we did we did a corporate event. <clears throat> we did a corporate icebreaker. We did a we did a business business one that went well, I think. All right, keep this on chat, and then we're gonna or keep this on screen for three seconds, and then we're gonna check in with Jack and the Heckle Cam. Three seconds on chat. Three seconds. Two, one. Hello, Jack and the Heckle Cam. Hello. Hello, people. What's up? We have a heckle. That's what's up. Uh, this heckle comes from Samantha, and it's hefty. Hey, thank you, Samantha, for the very hefty heckle. Welcome to the show, and thank you. Thanks, welcome back, and thank you. That's very nice. Yeah, thanks for the hefty. I heckle. am hum. I am humbled. Humbled. Uh, Samantha says, "B saps buzzing by to say hello." A little bee emoji, party hat emoji. Oh, it's a party hat. It's a bee party hat. Yay! I love it. B saps have been uh, supporters for a while. Yeah. I think I also, I think I might, I, this kind of gave me an idea. I think I might have an idea about what we're going to do with the tonight's person in charge. If we can figure it out. Figure, figure it out! out. Uh, what we'll probably do is have them get, uh, tell us what our GIF is, our background GIF for the Heckle Cam next week. Oh, that's smart. We might do that. All right. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you. And the Heckle you. Cam. That's Thank you so have. much, Samantha and the BSAPs. You guys are a long time, a bunch of long time regulars. I love the community that we built here. You guys are great. We're going to keep this going as long as we need to. Thank you. Bye, Heckle Cam. Bye. Bye. Finale with the huge, 
Fidel, let's see if that does it. Fidel, have that's very nice of you. I oh. think that might work. Oh. It, it's gonna take a while because it's lagging. It'll take a couple seconds, but I think. Thank you so much for that super sticker. That's a hippo. Hippo. I have to do what the hippo does. The hippo's in a in, a, in an office chair. I have to do what the hippo's doing. That's so much. It's very generous. There we go. I did the whole thing. He turned Thank around. Thank you, Fidel. That was huge. I appreciate you. That was great, Fidel. Get your answers in, folks. Get your answers in. That did. It did update it. Okay, tonight's person in charge right now, Fidel. Tonight's person in charge is Fidel. Okay, that makes sense now. That did it. <laughs> answers to round number three. Get your answers in, folks. We only had one. Heckle to read. Great. Here we go. The answers. Subaru. Subaru is the right answer there. I think that's what that means. Now, Fidel's in charge. Number two. Maserati is the right answer there. I'm looking for Maserati for number two. Number two is Maserati. I don't care how you spell it. It's very close. I like a lot of, a couple of people guess Aston Martin, which is the car I am kind of named after. <gasps> round four needs to be uh, changed. Uh, hold oh. off on round four. Sorry, folks. Get ready to get ready to reload round four. Oh man, what kind of button for this? That's right. Yep. <laughs> okay. So a couple things. One. Here's what that looks like now. Two. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I know what. I know what's gonna happen if I hit the button that fixes it. Oh jeez. Okay. Hold on. Oh thank God. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, folks, get ready. Uh, un I unmute me. I'm saying something important. Unmute me. Uh, round four is going to be... I'm going to change that in a second. That was for uh, Letter Kenny Trivia. I forgot to change that. We'll get that changed in a moment. We're going to have half time, and then I'll change that. Get ready to reload round four. Thanks for pointing that out. Thank you. Round three. Oh, round three. Question three. Sob. Number four is infinity. And number four is infinity. Number five, we're looking for Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi is the right answer there. Uh, number six is Cadillac. Cadillac was number six. Fidel, that's I have I very again. I appreciate you. I, I understand what I did there. I, I said it kind of a bar. I thank you. That was, yeah. I feel uh, my, is that a? We'll, we'll figure, we'll figure it, out. it out. We'll figure it out. We're gonna figure this out. So far, Fidel's in charge. Uh, number seven, Buick. We need Buick. I don't care who owned Buick. All right. That was the logo for Buick. All right. Uh, what's up? Number eight, last one. For, just keep an eye. I'm just saying. Uh, finally, last question for round number three. We're looking at Alpha Romeo. Alpha Romeo was the right answer to round number three, question eight, folks. How'd you do? Post your answers in chat. Oh, B oh. T C S is currently in charge with 10.01. Ooh, that's how that works, I guess. Now, I guess, I guess, it's not cumulative. <laughs> okay, now, now, Fidel, if Fidel puts in a dollar and goes above him, I don't know if that works or not. Fidel, I don't know if that works. Okay? Post your score in chat. But, Fidel, if you just give, like, a dollar, I don't, but, so I'm not guaranteeing that if you just put in, like, a dollar, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bump you over, all right? But is this price is right right now? Yeah, kind of. It's like an <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to fix round four. So if you're at round four right now, get ready to reload. Because right now... Oh, I'm ready for this. Okay. Right now... Fidel tried it. Thank you, Fidel. It was very nice of you. Uh, it is time for the What's in the Box Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the new bells and whistles. John Doe has the upper hand. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Oh, what's in the box? It is the what's in the box challenge. <laughs> you will be texting your guest to 657-234-2399 as to what is in the box. We learned... It didn't read the most recent one. 
We've got new bells and whistles. Your guys' support helped us make them. No. Tonight, <laughs> to guess what's in the box, we're gonna give you a clue. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet, because we're gonna give you a clue. We're gonna give you a clue. All right? Once you get the clue, we are gonna have uh, you guessing your guess 657-234-2399. Okay. So it does, it's not cumulative. It's the biggest tip of the night through, su it's the biggest super chat of the night currently. Okay. We're gonna find out we'll if we can find a way to, that. We'll find a way to change that if we can. I don't know. Your clue. Jack has prepared a clue for the what? What's in the box? What's in the box? John Doe has the upper hand now. What's in the box? Show us the box. Jack, would you like to provide everyone with a clue to um, the What's in the Box challenge? I was going to say that it is a flower. It's a specific flower. Very First specific person flower. to send in a correct guess. Jack, could you watch those incoming guesses? Sure. We're looking for a name of a specific flower for tonight's What's in the Box. Once somebody gets it right, no longer submit your guesses. Yeah, round four, he's working on it. I'm working on round four. I'm working on round four. We're fixing round four right now. Get ready to reload that. Don't do anything for round four yet. We understand. I love all these guesses. They're not right, but I like them. Fixed that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Jack, how are we doing on responses? We have a lot of unique responses. Uh-oh. You said of, unique. None of them are correct. No correct answers just yet. Now, if no one gets it right, we're going to give a clue, or you might pick a... I'll probably give a clue. Yeah, we'll give probably you a clue. Probably give a clue. We'll probably, yeah, we'll give you a clue. You said that very threateningly, by the way. I love that. Clue. I like the way you word that. Yeah, we'll give you a clue. You should be pounding your fist when you say that. Yeah, we'll give you a clue, all right. We'll give you a clue. Round 4.5, round 5. Okay, so round 4 should be fixed now. Round 4.5 should be fixed. Okay, can you give them the, the link in chat, or do you want me to do that? Reload round 4. Just hit reload. Just hit reload. Reload round name, 4. Please. You'll know it. The hint is a, a, we're looking for a flower. It's okay. correct now. Thank you so much. Reload um, round 4. You know, there's a chance. When are we going to, what's the time? When, when are we going to stop oh, it? Oh, man, we're going to stop it. It looks like it's trailing off right now. If no, if nothing else comes in the next fifteen seconds, it's it's we're gonna give a hint. How about that? Yeah, and then everyone who has guessed once, after we give a hint, can guess again. That's it. We're gonna give a hint. All right. Yeah. We're gonna wait fifteen seconds until the last guess. Then we're gonna give a hint. What were you thinking for the hint, Jack? I was. Were you thinking about like the number of the number of letters, words, number of words? Yeah. Let's go the number of words. Are we sure that it's? Oh, because if... Oh. Uh, let's oh, go yeah. with number of... Um, how about... No. Clock isn't showing on. No clock tonight? That's weird. Oops. Maybe this is above the clock? No? Yeah, it's above the clock. This okay. is above the clock. Um, so... Let's go with... I got one. It's... Okay, we're going to reset. Okay. Uh, how about this for a hint, Jack? Yes. Yeah. How about that? Yes. Here's your hint. You can guess again. You can guess again. Here's what we're looking for. One more get time. One more time. It is named after a creature. How about that? Yeah, within the name. Within the name is a creature. Okay? Guess again. Give us another guess. Give us a guess, love. Oh, I give us a guess, yeah? Uh, guess. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah a winner. there we go, there we go. Okay. If your phone number ends in, I got 5588. Yes, that's what I see. Can you please ask them their email address once sure. everything calms down? If you sure, have not sorry. guessed We got yet. it, stop guessing. If stop you... guessing, it's over. <sighs> nope. There's the unmute me. Useless. Oh, yeah, the, I guess it's useful. If your phone number ends in 5588, you have won the halftime round. You got yourself a Target gift card coming your way. Yeah, uh, soon. We do these in batches. I'm going to be doing that one very soon. I had a busy week last week. 
So I'll get, I'm going to be do, doing a nice big batch this week. So you're going to be expecting your cards soon. Congratulations, 5588. We're going to ask for your email address so we can find out how to get you your Target gift card. Congratulations, you won because you guessed. Uh, we were looking for a Snapdragon. Snapdragon. Didn't really show up on the green screen there. Snapdragon. I don't know which side is up. <laughs> Snapdragon is what we're looking for there. Snapdragon. You got caught up in the Snapdragon. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! And you know, we got several Tiger Lily dogs, dogwood, cat's tail. Great yeah. answers. Yeah. Quality answers. Wrong answers. Great answers, though. Oh, I loved all the flowers the first half. That was, gave me ideas for yeah, flowers. Right? Congratulations, folks. All right, now. Reload. Uh, unmute, reload round four. All right, to make, to make sure that it's appropriate for this round. Because round four is guess who? There's only one question in this round. There's only one question in round four. If your round four answer sheet, scribe, looking at you, scribe, wake up, scribe. Are you, yeah, okay, you got it. If you have more than one answer uh, spot available for round four, you're on the wrong page. Refresh it, okay? Refresh the page. We're here to give alternates and distractions to whatever's going on. That includes the debate, by the way. I'll point that out. What's up, some guy? How's it going, family? Hope all's well. So refresh round four. If you're submitting digitally, refresh round four, okay? Good, great, grand, no yelling on the bus. Here are your questions for round four. Okay, in round four, I'm looking for a famous name. The name I'm looking for could be someone who is alive or dead. They could be real or fake. They could be human or not human. Any combination of those six things is possible and viable. They could be anyone from Winnie the Pooh to Abraham Lincoln. Anyone's possible. Good to hear you're doing great, man. You will get about two minutes on each clue. If you get it right on the first clue, you get four points. Then it's three points, then it's two points, then it's one point. If your team turns in a wrong answer on this round, you get zero points and you cannot guess again. You only get one shot. You don't miss your chance to blow. <laughs> uh, one shot this round four question, so make it count. Zero points for a wrong answer, and you can't guess again. Good luck, folks. Your first cutoff for round four question one is going to be 807. 807 is a cutoff. Good luck. For four points, this person was born in El Centro, California in 1946. This person's mother, Georgia Holt, was an actress and played a few minor roles in films and TV. For a while, this person used the last name LaPierre. This person dropped out of high school at age 16 and moved to Los Angeles. Forbes once described this person as the most famous chanteuse and performer of our time. Most famous chanteuse. That's what they said. Yeah, everyone vote. I, I believe in that. I, uh, chat, talking about voting, great. I, I believe that I am... I am not the most informed person in the world, so I shouldn't be telling people what to do, but I should be telling people to vote. I know that much. Plus, I'm a trivia clown. So, I deal with facts. Cutoff is 807. This person was born in El Centro, California in 1946. This person's mother, Georgia Holt, was an actress and played a few minor roles in films and TV. For a while, this person used the last name LaPierre. This person dropped out of high school at age 16 and moved to Los Angeles. Forbes once described this person as the most famous chanteuse and performer of our time. Can someone tell me what a chanteuse is? 807's the four-point clue cutoff, folks. Thank you so much. The clock is back. The clock goes away for the What's in the Box challenge, and I'll fix that. I know what, I know what happened. Malayers layers thank you so much all right under a minute left on this clue folks matter of fact you get 20 seconds left 807 is the cutoff can't uh, give it away 
Oh, you can't tell me what a chanteuse is. I love it. Okay. Do I have I, to censor something now? No, me, maybe, but I, that wasn't really a hint. But I, I, I didn't know what exactly a chanteuse was. But chat was pointing out that if I did that, they get banned. Just banned immediately. That was a trap, and you didn't fall for it. Nice. You're cool. You can be in our club. Here's the next clue. 809 is the cutoff. 809 is the cutoff. For three points, before marrying her first husband, this woman worked as his housekeeper. This woman's first single, produced by Phil Spector, was called Ringo, I Love You, and it was a flop. This woman's second marriage was to Greg Alman of the Alman Brothers. This woman has appeared in the movies Mermaids, Tea with Mussolini, and Faithful, among others. I like the chat's pointing out that, no, Austin, I'm not falling into your trap. Mm -hmm. How do you reload a Google Doc? Oh, you just refresh it. Sorry, Titty figured it out? Titty got it? Well, I don't know. She, oh, she, she, Titty got it, sorry. I, I'm, I'm really late on chat, so sorry. 809's the cutoff, folks, for this clue. I don't know, okay, here's my, here's my take. I don't know how you can like fantasy football and not vote. <laughs> like, Going to the poll and like picking or like I don't know how I can be addicted to horse racing and not vote. Am I getting clear? Am I, is, am I making my point? I'm like, gonna pick things. I'm gonna pick all these things and I'm gonna watch and see if they win. Holy, that's that's. As long as you research, don't pick randomly. All right. Well, be informed. That's well, that's fun too. <clears throat> but you shouldn't be trying to pick who you think is gonna win. Technically, I mean, you hope the person uh, you pick okay. is going to win. Counterpoint, I've been a Padre fan for decades. I know they're not going to win. I'm still a fan. Like, I, I, you pick your, you pick your, you pick your, 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 your thing you believe yeah, in, Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. You yeah. pick your thing you like believe in. Like that kind in. of gambling. Not that the smart kind. kind of gambling. It's your team. Like, I don't know how you, like, you know, and, like, especially with fantasy football, you're like, I got little different, like, you know, propositions and, like, Senate and shit. Like, oh, my Senate passed, but I got, like, four propositions I want. Like, I don't know how you don't... Here's the next clue. 811 is the cutoff. This woman's 1998 song, Believe, was the first commercial recording to feature auto-tune. This woman's performance as Moonstruck was named the best acting performance by a musician in a movie by Billboard. This woman's music video for If I Could Turn Back Time, there it is, was the first ever to be banned by MTV. Wow. This woman goes by her first name and her last name is Sarkeesian. No breaking the laws of physics. Absolutely Banned. No. Turn back time. In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. Again, for two points, this woman's 1998 song, Believe, was the first commercial song to feature auto-tune. This woman's performance in Moonstruck was named, by the, was named the best acting performance by a musician in a movie by Billboard. This woman's music video for If I Could Turn Back Time was the first ever to be banned by MTV. This woman goes by her first name, and her last name is Sarkeesian. One more clue to go. Checking to see if we've lost voters since I've been talking about voting or lost viewers. Not too many. Good. We're saying what everyone's thinking. No, I'm saying it's like it's it's fun to vote. I'm saying like it's literally it's kind of fun. Like it's the same. I get it because I've done like fantasy football and, you know, I root for a, a sports team, which I guess that's what politics is right now. Just don't go, you know. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Pick your side, do it, and then, like, see the results. It's fun. That's exactly what fantasy football is, right? That's... <laughs> Nerds? Under a minute left. Actually, no more time left. Here's your last clue. La easiest clue. With her husband at the time, Sonny Bono, this woman released her breakthrough single, I Got You, Babe. This woman... This woman is often referred to as the goddess of pop. Her initial is C. Number the one point clue again. With her husband at the time, Sonny Bono, this woman released her breakthrough single, I Got You, Babe. This woman is often referred to as the goddess of pop. Her initial is C. Hey, don't worry about what happens if you lose. If I was worried if if, if I were worried about what happens when I lose, again, I go back to my original point, I would not be a Padre fan. 
If I picked my team based on winners, I would have a big Yankees cap on right now and be really, really excited the Lakers are in. You know? It's not about, like, it's what you believe in. It's what you, what you think's right. Just saying. 813's the last chance. You got under a minute left. Vote, people. If the Dodgers and Padres win their series, we'll be looking at a Dodgers Padres National League Division Series. That would be such a great series. For in a year when we can't attend. I know, I know, it's pretty terrible, right? Padres are in the playoffs and I can't go. I'm I'm the game is tomorrow. They they play tomorrow and it's before this, so you know, I might not be wearing a suit. I might be wearing my, my jersey. In a s I'm <laughs> we They're all young. You. They're young. They're a young team. They can maybe do it again next year, okay? Maybe. They have they have a running start. They got they're in it now. <laughs> Knowing the Padres, you have usually one shot in a couple decades. Alright, uh that's it. Time. Last clue is off the off the board. The answer we're looking for for round number four. Uh, share. Share is the right answer there. Share was the right answer for round number four. Uh, 8, 9, 11, 13 was the last cutoff there. Uh, let's go on to round number 4.5. He's going to be four clues loosely related to the clues that we or just read you. Four questions. I apologize. Related to the clues that we just read. Not directly related to Share, but a Chanteuse is a mu musician or performer. Thank you guys so much. I, I do not... I am just a... I, I am a trivia host. Uh, I do not pretend to know everything. I'm like, I am the great Quizzo. Like, I'm not... I'm not... I have a really good stage presence and a solid voice. <laughs> and a knack for what good trivia is. I don't know everything, though. So thank you for helping me out with that. I appreciate that. Would saying a shantus means a female singer had given it away? That would have been a hint. Yes, that was. I apologize for asking for that hint. Uh, our head writer, Ben, was kind enough to keep that obscure. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, what's this, Ant? What's this word here? Yeah, he was quoting someone else. Yeah, so. he was. He was like, he was like, he was being like, like, like distant enough to give a clue and not being like. But I'm like, hey, look up what that word means, everyone. Maybe that's on. Maybe he's on. You know. So chat was totally in the right for Completely not answering. <laughs> chat didn't fall into my chat, my trap, and I turned into Jim Gaffigan for nothing. All right, uh, round four point five, question number one. There's four questions here. Is he gonna do that all night? Uh, what is the name of the Allman Brothers band? Uh, sorry, what is the name of the Allman Brothers band's highest charting song in which the singer says that he's trying to make a living and doing the best I can? Trivia Dragon will be back, I promise. Trivia Dragon's gonna come back for just a random episode, by the way. Trivia Dragon. Nice, nice. Yeah, you're right. Number one again, what is the name of the Allman Brothers band's Allman Brothers Band's highest charting song, in which the singer says he is trying to make a living and doing the best I can. Speaking of which, book us for your trivia party. You got a birthday coming up, something. And yeah, trivia. I'm just gonna. I'm trivia dragon. I'm gonna take a day off, and trivia dragon will be here. Um. Number two. You guys are going to be really confused when it's someone else in the mask. Uh, what actress who later starred in Stranger Things played the daughter of Cher's character in the 1990 movie Mermaids? Number two, again, what actress who later starred in Stranger Things plays the daughter of Cher's character in the 1990 movie Mermaids? I'm not going to look that second one up. My claim to fame, by the way, is I went I went to college and I went to film school with the Duffer Brothers. I do not know their first... <laughs> won't... Like, I shared, like, editing suites with it. Like, they... And that's just... Every time I see, like, the success of Stranger Things, like, ah! Ouch! Nah, they're... <laughs> they are... Those guys are... Those guys are driven. But that's my claim to fame, is that, like, that's how close I am to Stranger Things. I, think I sat next to him. What's up? Oh, sorry. What'd you say? I think one of our fans is asking for a cardboard cut of, cut out of themselves in our background. Okay. We can sell that. 
Yeah. Maybe in the opening screen, like a few uh, images. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that as a Kickstarter. <laughs> number yeah. number three. We'll we'll think of something. I like that for the emoji, like having you guys' heads. Great. Like every sports league right now. Auto-Tune is a trademark of Antares Audio Technologies, which shares its name with the brightest star in what arachnid constellation? I need the name of the arachnid constellation and... Uh... <coughs> yeah, I just need the name of the constellation. Yeah, I'd love, like, for the Heckle Cam, if you guys, we'll, we'll say, like, if you spend enough money on the Heckle Cam this Maybe month, we'll get... Maybe out on, on the... Oh, you know what? That's something we could do for our, with our, with our members, with our, with our, uh, the top tier yeah, we as well. Yeah, we have a lot of choices with that. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna write something down. Number four, last question for the round. Question three again. Auto-Tune is the trademark of Antares Audio Technologies. Shares his name with the brightest star in what Arachnid constellation? Need the name of the constellation. Last question for the round, number four. From 1988 to 92, Sonny Bono served as the mayor of what Southern California city named after a local species of tree? Mm -hmm. Hey, any idea? Again, and if you have more ideas, I only say that because I know that some guy isn't playing uh, the high-tech way. If you have ideas for the show, you have something we should try out, let us know. At the end of round six, you're a scribe. There's a comment box. And Please give us comments. Uh, what if you're not playing the high tech way? Please email it to people's trivia co at gmail.com. Again, people's trivia co at gmail.com if you're giving us comments. It's, again, without the co, C O, uh, it's just some guy in Ohio. He's a nice guy. It's the captain. He's a nice guy. But it's, he's not going to know what to do with your feedback. He'll be very confused. He's felt a burn from this. He's been shut down since March. So, like, I feel bad for that guy, right? All right. Five seconds. And I'm going to check on with Jack and the Heckles. Five seconds on the clock. Five seconds, folks. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Jack. Hello, Heckle Cam. What's up? I have a pie heckle. A pie heckle? I, I don't have another name for this, uh, but it's from Teddy. And uh, Teddy says, you guys smell that? Jeez, it smells awful. Padres must be nearby because, you know, they smell like farts. What's your team? Oh, Jack, please make a note. Idea for tonight's title. Padres smell like farts. Hashtag, yeah. all royalties are mine. Devil emoji, unicorn, grid of dials, baseball, poop, uh, <laughs> vomit emoji, purple heart, teddy bear. Think you can just sit here and pay us money and talk to me like that? <laughs> you can. <laughs> okay. uh, they're in the playoffs, Teddy. What's your team? What's Teddy's team? Uh, I believe Teddy's team is... Padres smell like farts. No, her That's favorite the, team. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the team she's playing at with. Yeah, like who's trivia. who are like are they in the playoffs? Because what are you doing? Uh, Glass houses. I'm trying to think of what I know about Vegas Knights, Golden Knights. It's, it's Dodgers. They? It's Dodgers. Okay, All right, they are in the playoffs. So yeah. Whatever. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in the end. We'll see you in the championship. Uh, that, yep, that's right. All the heckles we have. We'll see you there, though. Bye, bye, bye. bye. I'm doing this tonight. Here are the answers around 4.5. Get those answers in, party people. Get the answers in around 4.5. Move. Yeah. Quickly. And we have got everyone. We've got everyone. Move, move, move. There's one left. One left. Go, go, go. Uno mas. Here are the answers around. Again, they're in the playoffs. They don't smell like farts. I, it was a bold choice to change their uh, uniforms to brown, but like, like I've said, everyone else in the uh, Major League Baseball is either red or blue, so it was awesome. I love the fact that they're a different color. Unique nope. choice. Yeah. Unique choice. I love it. Big fan. Huge fan. Uh, Ramblin' Man is the right answer, number one. The highest Lord charting I'm song. Ramblin' Man. Ramblin' Man. Uh, number two, what actress later starred in Stranger Things played the daughter of Cher's character in the 1990 movie Mermaids? We're looking for Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder is number two. Number three, Auto Tune, trademark of Antares, which is shares its name with the brightest star in what arachnid constellation? Scorpius is the name of the constellation. We are probably. We are probably. Don't worry, don't panic. We're probably. Considering not a single one of you put Scorpius. Oh. Don't panic. 
Number four. Uh, from ninety from eighty eight to ninety two, Sonny Bono served as the mayor of what Southern California city named their local species of tree, Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Is the right answer there. What's up, Cheyenne? I think we're gonna be okay with that, Cheyenne. We'll do Scorpio, that's fine. I think we're going with Scorpio, considering that all of you put in Scorpio, all right? So, like, if you didn't and you have a problem with that, you're literally just trying to be a jerk. <laughs> we're being lenient because the vast majority, and by the vast majority, I mean all. I mean all of the teams put Scorpio on that one, so you're, you're fine. You're fine. And good to see you, Cheyenne. Hello, Cheyenne. I don't ever see you ever. Welcome. Oh, man. That's, that's it, folks. Tell us your score for round number four. Post your score! For round number four. Yeah, it's flipping close enough. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're good, folks. Round five is kind of the theme. In this round, we're going to ask you eight questions. The correct answers to one through seven all have something in common. The thing that they have in common is the uh, answer to question number eight in round number five. So keep your eyes open, your ears peeled. I think tonight's tough. I think actually tonight. Yes, it's terrible. Yeah. I hate it. Jack hates it. I hate it. Yes. Prepare yourselves, minions. Come on, you trivia gremlins. Let's go monsters, witches, ghouls, and ghosts. I'm getting excited, by the way. I'm giving you guys a slight hint for what's coming up on our schedule. Hey, Sue, good point. We will we'll accept it. You're good, Sue. You're good. I like Sue's the voice of reason. Sue's also very generous. In this round, good luck, all right? Good luck. The clue to the theme is either within the whole answer. This is the whole answer. A word in the answer. This is the word in the answer. Or letters in the word in an answer. On the bump on the log in the middle of the lake and the green grass grows all around and all around and the green grass Thank grows all around. Thank you. Yes. Big hitchhiker's thumbs up for that one. Look at that weird thumb. Moving on. Round five, question one. Focus on the answers that you know you have correct. That'll give you the theme. Focus on the ones you are confident in. The film's Roman Holiday, the Lizzie McGuire movie, yes. and three coins in the fountain all contain important scenes at what Roman landmark? Uh. Number one again. The film's Roman Holiday, the Lizzie McGuire movie, and the three coins in the fountain all contain important scenes at what Roman landmark? Are you worried about... No, no, just... I don't know why you're not reading that last those last four words. I don't know either. <laughs> I, I thought you were... I, I, I was just wondering why you aren't reading that. <laughs> I'll explain what I was reacting to in a moment. I have, that was, uh, for some reason, like, the edge of my, like, <laughs> my glasses. <laughs> like, no, that there, question. Are you giving it away? The question read is it, over. You can put it on the screen. It's, I, I'm, everyone knows I'm very anti Nicola Salvi. <laughs> yeah. right? Everyone knows my Nicola Salvi stands. I don't, I'm trying not to get political. I'm really trying not to get political. But you put Nicola Salvi on my monitor, and I just can't. Hey, you're strong enough to grit and bear and get through this. This shirt is very pink, by the way. If it's not pink, you need to adjust the color in your monitor. Important scenes at what Roman landmark designed by Nicola Salvi. In my head, I reacted to something, so I assume that, of course, what you're reacting to is the same thing I'm reacting to. So, like... <laughs> and that has nothing to do with what you're reacting to. So, I'll make, I'll make that clear. Number two. Take that, Nicholas Salvi. Two, what is the animal named type of document, which is an official decree issued by the Pope of the Catholic Church? Sorry. Uh, what's the animal named type of document, which is an official decree issued by the Pope of the Catholic Church? Uh, Chat thinking the, the, uh, the shirt was electric salmon. Electric salmon. Oh, I just remembered the other problem I did have with number one. Oh, okay. You Let called the Lizzie McGuire movie a film. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> take that, Lizzie McGuire movie. Hot take. Number three. Nailed it. Well done. What fictional character from a 1960s cartoon was rebooted in the 1990s as a host of a fictional late night 
late night talk show, Coast to Coast. This is my jam right now. This is my jam. Number three. What fictional character from a 1960s cartoon was rebooted in the 1990s as the host of a fictional late night talk show, Coast to Coast? Very pink shirt tonight. Very pink shirt. Hey, it's more shirts. Question four. What one word 2013 movie based on the children's book The Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bugs? Sorry, that's all one, one word, one title. The Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bugs starred Amanda Seyfried as the voice of Mary Catherine and Beyonce as the voice of Queen Tara. Seyfried? Seyfried? Bueller? Number four again. What one word 2013 movie based on the children's book The Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bugs starred Amanda Seyfried, only seen it written, uh, as the voice of Mary Catherine and Beyonce as the voice of Queen Tara. Thanks for pointing out those early likes. Thanks for those early likes, by the way, people. That helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, that's great. Another, another layer to that, become a member. You get custom emojis. You can vote on stuff. You get you get content that other people don't see. Currently, members have access to the Not Safe for Work After Dark Trivia Night that we had. Episode 69. Oh my gosh, episode 100 is coming up. That's going to be a big one. Oh my gosh. Every time you say that, I just... What is the name? Sorry. It's you so what? much. No, it's a lot. What is the name of the candy product originally named Lickamade? Demonetized, you say. Uh, where you take one of two lick sticks and cover it in colored sugar. What's the plan for 100? A uh, we got a special show. Uh, we're going to be giving away special prizes. We want to be giving. We want to be giving on that night. Uh, we got a quiz that's going to be for that. It's going to be a lot of what you know. Uh, it's going to be a celebration. How about that? It's going to be a celebration of what we've been doing for the last 27 weeks, right? How about that? It's going to be a big night. We don't know the date yet because we haven't announced our next gimmick show or shows. So, stand by. Five again. What's the name of the candy product originally originally named Lickamade? Where you take one of two liquor sticks and cover it in colored sugar. <laughs> this is referenced in Letter Kenny, too. Ah, you can have that. <laughs> you can have it. I mean, I feel like you would know. If yeah, you if you know, know that, you know that. You're right. <laughs> like... Yeah. Number six. Good point. What Italian style of ice cream typically contains 70% less air and more flavoring than other kinds of frozen desserts? giving it its trademark density and richness. Trademark. Six again, what Italian style of ice cream typically contains 70% less air and more flavoring than other kinds of frozen desserts and giving it gives it its trademark density and richness. Folks, small reminder, uh, if you're not, uh, if, if you're enjoying the show and not like sitting in heckles or like, and you, we appreciate you just being here and watching the show. Anyone enjoying the show live, is a huge plus for us. Thank you so much. The best thing you can do for us, uh, if you're not going to be giving anything monetarily, which is completely fine, is invite a friend or family member to play with you. Right? That's win-win. That's win-win. You get a, you get a, we give you a bunch of stuff to talk about, uh, and uh, we get another viewer. It's a free show. Number seven. In ye way language lay is ye is they eschen quay in bay ed ray. Seven again, again. In ye utway language lay, is ye is they eschen quay ying bay ed ray. One more time. In ye utway language lay, is ye is they eschen quay ying bay ed ray. That was tough. You nailed it. You nailed it. Final question for the round. What is the theme for this round? Sunshine, just ch chat's checking in just to make sure I'm not having a stroke. No, no, don't hold my wallet in my mouth. Number eight, look at the answers to one through seven. This is a tough, 
theme tonight. Focus on the answers that you know you have correct. Maybe buy our mug. Uh, those <laughs> will direct you to the correct theme of for tonight's round five. Can I say, like, a few shows ago, I gave a hint when it's a tough theme, do this. And it, and it wasn't... Oh, do what? I'm not going to say now, but I just... If anyone was watching that show oh, and was okay. listening to my hint... Yeah, there you go. There's, there's, there you a, go. there's a frequent viewer bonus. <sighs> and by the way, since we became, like, YouTube partners with the... Uh, or we think we've been keeping track of how many times you guys have been joining us. So we know who our top ten fans are. And you should, too. We'll release that soon. We might do that for our 100th episode, maybe. Who's been watching the most since, like, the last whatever. All right. Real talk, we do not have heckles. That's probably because I've been rambling a lot, uh, and we've been milking some of the money from the tonight's person in charge. Again, BTCS, currently in charge. We think you can uh, request whatever gift background for the next show. I think. I think. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's the. I think that's it. Yeah. Or whoever's in charge at the end of the show. Um, I'm also gonna let Fidel do it. Okay. What? So one, one and the other, because we have two, right? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna let each, because Fidel was like, helping us out by like, I'm gonna jump this giant hurdle that Austin just put nine. In. Thank you guys. So we're gonna let you both right now, unless somebody jumps. We'll look at it. So currently, the heckle cam background is, uh, you know, changed by the people in charge. How about that? New thing. All right, we have no heckles, so get your answers in. Turn in the answers. Jack, do we have heckles? Uh, unfortunately, we do not have any heckles. Okay, move with those answers, party people. Move. Move. We need those answers. Tell your <laughs> scribe to hustle. Oh, no, we don't have enough answers in, folks. Get them in. Ten seconds. You can literally buy time for your team by setting us in heckles, but we don't have them right now, so. Move, 10 seconds on the clock. We'll cardboard you. <clears throat> we may have a threshold for like, if you send in a heckle with like enough money, and then it, like, we'll just ask you for the image and then like, hey, you get cardboarded. Or we might have it, that be a reward for, you know, our YouTube members. Yeah, we'll, we'll come look back. We'll come back with an idea for we're you. Gonna, we're always looking to give back to the people that support the show. So, like, we're looking for fun ways to get people involved. Move quickly with the answers. Ten seconds. That was not fun. No? Let's see how we did. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Hey, yeah. I'm going to say about half. Yeah. At least half. Got it. But yeah. Very, yeah, I like it. The rest of the people left. left. All right. Good luck. Clinky. Cheers. Round five answers. Number one. Turn them in. After this, they don't count. The film's Roman Holiday, the Lizzie McGuire movie, and three coins in the fountain all contain important scenes of what Roman landmark designed by Nicola Salvi. <laughs> Trevi Fountain is the right answer there. I internally was reacting to the fact that uh, the word fountain was in the question, and we usually re don't want that in the answer. I thought that that's what no, Jack was I reacting didn't care to. About that at all. Jack was just straight up reacting to the fact that I left out <laughs> a good four words of the question. <laughs> so that's my internal struggle. <laughs> Number two, what's the animal name type of document, which is an official decree issued by the Pope of Catholic Church? A papal bull or papal bull. <laughs> well, it thinks it's well, papal. Oh, it thinks it's papal. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> uh, what fictional character from a 1960s cartoon was rebooted in the 1990s? We're looking for Space Ghost. Space Ghost! <laughs> I looked up Brack recently, like just the other day. I looked up Brack. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! <laughs> Number four. What well, one word 2013 movie based on the children's book The Leaf Men and the Brave Good Bug starred Amenta Seafried and the voice of Mary Catherine and Beyonce as the voice of Green Tara? <laughs> Looking for epic. Mm -hmm. Right answer there. Epic. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the candy product originally named Lick um, Lickamade? Why did they change it? <laughs> Lickmade? Why? Why? <laughs> Where you would take one of two licks lick a sticks and cover it in colored sugar. Fun, Fun dip! Fun dip. The color change one was the best. Yeah. That was pretty bonkers. It was like like green. It was blue in the package and then you licked it and it turned green. You have to do a fun dip? Fun dip, Steve? It's great. What Italian style of ice cream? Gelato. 
Gelato. I think that Fun Dip is going to get a huge bump from being mentioned on this show. They're going to get so the good. people's bump. I'm going to buy some right now. What's the biggest one they sell fun on dip Amazon? Fun Dip stock and Fun Dip sales are going to go at least up 1% after today because of the people's bump. I'm stealing it from Stephen Colbert. He doesn't do it anymore. He's on a different show. Number seven. In ye way language lay is ye is they eshing quay ing bay ed ray. Pig Latin! Ig pay at and lay! Is the right answer there? Pez is underrated? Let's debate. Let's debate. Underrated? It's one of the it's most. It's very popular. Very popular. Oh, does he mean the candy itself? I mean, I like him. What's the thing for the round? Oh. Folks, half you guys got it right. In this round, in the answers, we had Fountain, Bull, oh no, Space, Epi, Dip, Gel, and Pig. So, if you're looking at the words in the answers, we had Fountain Pen, Bull Pen, as in, you know, where pitchers warm up or, you know, stock market people hang out. Space pen. I don't know what that is. You look it up. Epi pen, which is a weapon from Letter Kenny, and it prevents a hypoallergenic shock. Dip pen, also a thing. Gel pen, a thing. We use it all the yeah, time. Yeah, pen. And pig pen. Like a bull pen, it holds. Like a pig pen holds pigs. Pens. Half the teams got up night. Half the teams. Impossible okay. nay. I'm going to reiterate this because I said it once before. If the theme is hard, it's usually blank. It's like a blank word. So blank pens. Let's, blank bring, you on, let's bring you on camera here. There you go. Here we go. Jack, Okay. talk to the people. So whenever it's hard and you can't figure out, that's what it is. So if it's, um, what was the other one we had recently that was I don't this? Know. I don't remember. But, uh, uh, if, it's, if you're having trouble with it, if it's tough, sometimes... It's a word that matches up with a lot of things in the answer. Yeah, usually that precedes some other shorter, simpler word that maybe could have several meanings or that there's a lot of different varieties of it. So There we go. Thank you, Jack. Very good point. I will also point out while we're here that if you figure out uh, and oh, find the, the theme. The intro played when you started this. It's too late. Fine. Or, or you didn't write. You got it. Got it. F it. No, I'm sorry. I'm That's the war box. Late. That's the penalty because I didn't... I didn't uh, Plug the Warbucks. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, if you figure out number seven in round five, that is the keystone clue. If you can answer number seven, that is the easiest clue for the theme. Pig in this instance. Pig pen. All right? Uh, that we think. All right. Bye, Jack. Bye. Thank you for listening to the hints. Sorry to give you the theme again. Last round. Take some wine if we haven't. Oh, sure, yeah. In this round, we are dealing with video game movies. Yay! 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 I mean, I'm sure they're terrible movies, but I like video games! Historically. Movies don't translate well to video games, people. I'm going to show you eight clips. I think, I'm, I think I turn off the volume on these. I think I'm actually doing that. I think I'm actually turning off the... Um, uh, you're not, you shouldn't hear anything. Or I'm going to turn that off really quickly. Because usually what happens is sometimes there's like a song playing in the background. And that company then swoops in and just takes like the $4 we made through ad revenue. So, in this round, I'm going to show you eight clips from eight movies. Your job is to name the move... Or, I'm sorry, is to name the video game or video game franchise that the movie is based off of. Okay? So we need the video game here. We're looking for the name of the video game. It is the name of the video game or video game series that the movie is based off of. Thank you so much, Jack. You're welcome. Clinky? Cheers, everybody. Wine Tuesday. Hey, Derek. Hey, everybody. Derek's hi, everyone. Here is the first playthrough. We're going to play these twice, two times. Second playthrough, you have as many heckles as we have sent in. That's how much time you have to answer the questions. So if you want to literally buy yourself some time, tell one person on your team 
to send us a dollar or more through ha ha uh, heckle cam. You know, that's the way to solve that. Currently reminding you, <laughs> I think BTCS and Fidel in chat before the game is over, let us know. Unless somebody uh, super chats or super stickers $10 or more, then a new sheriff is in town, all right? The top two, uh, we're going to have picked the, the background gifts for our heckle cam until we have a new winner. That's what we're going to, we'll, something like that. We'll give a reward. Here's the first playthrough, folks. Good luck. It's going to be here in a moment, I promise. It's not Letter Kenny. Good luck. Never. One second. Oh boy, I'll fix this. I'm going to reset this. Number one. What is that? We got to go now. Oh, God. I'm going to reset this. Don't panic, everybody. Evacuate! 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 That's me sick. There we go. There we go. Number one. What is that? We gotta go now. Evacuate! Evacuate! Number two. All right, folks, friends, family, people, that was the first playthrough of those eight clips. Now, again, I'm sorry, for clip number one, I had music on. I apologize, the audio was on, I should have turned it off. There should be no audio during this. The reason for that, the reason behind that, is every time we play like a movie trailer or like a movie clip, there's some song going on in the background or like something that's like heavily copyrighted, and every time we do that, YouTube gets like a little like flag that's like, hey! You must be just projecting like a jukebox this mo this song, so we, we just mute it, all right? So you're not visually, go visually, figure out what move, what, what video game uh, this movie is based off of, all right? So you're not going to get any audio on this one. We're going to turn it off. The audio will be turned off for this round, all right? Sorry. Sorry, but that's just because we have to, like, to keep our channel up, you know, we can't keep doing that over and over again because I think they'll get very mad. All right. Here are the eight clips one more time good luck everybody last playthrough last playthrough good luck are we muted no
I'm just going to scream the numbers into the microphone the next time. Uh, just doing that's way easier, or like doing that, or like trying to find out where the songs are being played in it, uh, or like telling Ben to like look out for that kind of stuff. Uh, so if we want the numbers, even though they're on the screen, I'll guess I'll give you an audio cue too, but it's gonna be me. I'm just gonna belch numbers one through eight. How about that? Please give us your feedback. I'm going to take it and I'm going to make it disgusting. Round six answers. Come after the heckles. Jack, do we have heckles? We do. Let's read the heckles on the heckle cam. Hi, Jack. Hi, hecklers and all our people playing. What's I up? love video games. And Big I round for you. Enjoyed that round. Uh, I also learned something, which I'll get to later. We have a hefty heckle from Chandler. Hey, Ch Chandler. What's going on, Chandler? Chandler. Whenever I think of your name, I think of Chandler Bing. Mrs. I'm Chandler so Bong. Sorry. I'm sure you get that. So, Chandler, with your hefty heckle, it says the Space Ghosts CDs were my childhood. Don't touch me, mashed potatoes <laughs> and others. Long live Space Ghosts, Zorak and Brack. Love you guys. Chandler from Rosebud Motel. Don't touch me. <laughs> love it, Chandler. Oh, I read. Don't touch me, mashed potatoes is one phrase, but now that I listen to him say that, I realize maybe it's two different Don't touch me. two different references. Don't touch me. Mashed potatoes. I don't know what that part is. Um, I love it. Uh, we have one more heckle. One more heckle. It comes from Dan. Hey, Dan. Dan says, hey, Austin. What's up? Wanted to wish you luck tomorrow as your Padres take on my Cardinals. Oh, dude, F your Cardinals, bud. <laughs> Also, if your Padres win, you're dead to me. <laughs> there we go. Appropriate. That's exactly what I would expect from you, Dan. Love Dan, Jess, <laughs> Anastasia, and the Broomsticks and Butterbeer crew. Yeah. yeah. No, hey, Cardinals. Hey, congratulations on being the only good Cardinal fan out there, by the way. Your fan base is widely regarded as bad people, but you are good. So, like, how how is that for you to be a good person in, like, a C... Of just ugliness. <laughs> Take that, St. Louis Cardinals. Also, you guys, you guys have had your just step down. Just take a step down. It's a weird season. Relax. Is that it? That's all the heckles we have. I was checking out chat. That's all we got. I that's all it. we get. Uh, that's all we get. Love you, Dan. Please, uh, again, if you're if you're a fan of Harry Potter, check out the uh, the Broomsticks and Butterbeer podcast. Uh, that's a Harry Potter podcast. One knows all about it. One is going through it chapter by chapter. They're very fun. Check it out. Bye. Bye. Good luck. I hope you did well on round six. I hope you did well on round six, folks. Time for the answers. Time for the answers for the final round tonight. Also, it's your last chance. Uh, no, that's it. No more time to get in hackles or anything. It's over. It's over. Turn in your answers to the final round tonight. Let's see how many you have in. Good to know. Here are the answers. Dan, Dan, you cannot say the Cardinals are the best fans in baseball. You cannot. Oh. Oh. That is objectively wrong. You have to be aware. You have to have the awareness. I was doing you a boon. I was a do I was booning you. I was Brett booning you. Not the episode title, but close. How can you cannot say the same? You cannot. That's objectively wrong. Every other baseball fan needs to back me up. This is an Astro situation. Uh, round six answers. Number one, looking for Doom. Doom, Star in the Rock. Star in the Rock. Also, uh, Urban. Carl Urban. Uh, Billy from The Boys himself. Bones himself. A boon. To boon someone, a booning. Yes. A boon is like a gift from like the gods. Again, I've been playing way too many Hades. Uh, a boon mm -hmm. like a, is like an advantage. Yeah. And to give that to someone is to is to boon them. He was I was booning. Number two. F the Astros. Uh Prince of Persia is number two. Prince of Persia. If you weren't mad about Tom Cruise being the last samurai, ho, oh, you should be upset about Jake Gyllenhaal being the Prince of Persia. <laughs> number three. Warcraft. Just Warcraft, unfortunately. 
Well, we won't make a decision yet. We'll see what they okay, answer. Okay, okay. Never mind. We'll, we're going to do some research on that one, folks. Don't worry. We're going to do some research. Don't worry. Number four. Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Okay, that one I want to say will just accept Tomb Raider if you're looking for right. the video game. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't want to make any decisions. Oh, yeah. You told the people there if you're looking for the video game. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. understand. They also called the game Tomb Raider. Don't worry, folks. We're going to look at your answers and we're going to make a... You'll see your assessment tomorrow on, on our social media. I like that we can all hate the asterisks. Number five, Need for Speed, starring Aaron Paul. I am so excited to see this likely terrible movie. Yeah, okay, we haven't seen it. We just learned about it because of this. Our, 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 our current favorite bad movie is Money Plane, which you should see right now. Money Plane, it stars Edge and Kelsey Grammer, Frasier, all right? Wrestler and Frasier, Wrestler, Frasier. Check it out. After that, watch Need for Speed. We're going to watch that this weekend. Yeah. Lisa. Lisa, we're watching Need for Speed. Number six. Super Mario Brothers. Great take. Great take. I saw it in theaters. <laughs> I can't wait. Daniel pointing out Need for Speed has 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. Probably earned it. Can't wait for this bad movie. I for bad movie wait. night. Number seven. Mortal Kombat. Great soundtrack. Fantastic soundtrack. Terrible sequel. Uh, a fun movie. Still a fun movie. A lot of these movies on this round have been featured on How Did This Get Made? Speaking of bad movies, Mortal Kombat, not great. Still a very fun popcorn movie, all right? Final question, final answer for round number six. Folks, friends, family, people, thank you for being here tonight. Again, uh, we have shows every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Our upcoming show is uh, gimmick around is, is going to be... Oh, Surge! With the last second Surge of power! He is now going to be in charge. It's going to go Surge... And then Fidel. No, it's going to be Surgeon and B... Oh, no. Actually, Surgeon and Fidel. Because that was BTS. We'll figure it out. Surge with a last second donation and Super Chat. Right at the last second, Surge. Is that the new strategy? Is it a way to the last round? That's bad. Surge sneaks it in. All right. Uh, here's the last answer for round number eight. Uh, round number six, question number eight. Sonic the Hedgehog. You got to go fast, folks. You gotta go fast. I hope you had a good time tonight. We have shows every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Our upcoming gimmick show is going to be around Casino Night. It's gonna be Casino Night Trivia. Music Jams, thanks for pointing out that we had a good time tonight. I hope you had a good time tonight. Surge, amazing. Uh, we're gonna reach out to Surge, Fidel. Uh, <laughs> let's go with BTCS as well. If you three have suggestions for gifts, we're going to put those in the bank. In chat, do it right now or send us an email, people's trivia code, gmail.com. Uh, so that's BTCS, Surge, or Fidel. Send us an email. Let us know what you guys want us to have as gifts, backgrounds. We're going to do that for you. Thanks for being here. There's two things we do at the end of every night. One, we show you my pants. Here are my pants. Wearing shorts. Look at those white legs. I'm trying to take as much vitamin B and vitamin D as I can because I'm staying a lot indoors. The second thing we do is we show you our mascot. She was mentioned earlier. She's a 13-year-old Russian blue. Austin sipping beer gif. Okay, we'll look into it. That's BTCS. Now we're looking for Fidel and we're looking for Surge. Uh, we're going to wait for the shadow cam. Here's the shadow cam. Oh, look at her. That's the shadow cam, and that's a great shadow cam. She is sleeping. We're going to be very... We're going to be quiet. We're going to be very quiet. We're going to be quiet for shadow in the shadow cam. Uh, she is sleeping. She is a 13-year-old Russian blue. Uh, we got her as a rescue about two years ago, and... Uh, the the spot we got her from, uh, very uh, cats and toe in Bra uh, or sorry cats and toe in Anaheim, cats and toe shelter in Anaheim, uh, great place, fantastic place, uh, but she does not do well with other cats, so we were able to rescue her. We got her a retirement home here, and your heckles and your support help us keep this little monster fed, and supported. Look at a little eye twitch. I love it. Okay, this is the first time she's actually been sleeping on shadow cam because usually we pick her up, but this is great. Okay, Fidel in chat wants the uh, Niles heckle to be brought back. We can do that for you. We're still waiting on Surge for your uh, preference. Thank you, Jack. We're going to say goodbye to the Shadow Cam. Thank you so much, Shadow Cam. Goodbye. Oh, shoot. And then we're going to say goodbye 
the shadow cam. Oh, big stretchy. Sorry, she woke up a little bit by shadow cam. We're going to say goodbye to you folks. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. You guys have been great. This has been a fantastic crowd. You guys have been generous. You guys have been kind. You've been a great community. We appreciate you so much. Uh, after this is over, we're going to play like an ad or two. So if like you have your thing up, hang out. Because if you play an ad, we can watch it. Let's bring Jack back. Hi, Jack. Hi. Let's cut off that jingle again. We already played it twice. Thank you, Warbucks. Uh, after this is over, we're going to say goodbye. And we're going to play uh, our, our end jingle and like an ad. So just watch it, maybe. That would be nice. Helps us support the show. Thank you so much. Uh, Jack, any parting words? I love you all. And I hope you had a great and fun night like I did. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, join us tomorrow. The same, uh, same kind of deal tomorrow. I uh, hope you had a good time tonight on behalf of myself, Austin. Me, Jack. On um, behalf of Shadow, the players, the people, the hosts, the writers, and everyone that makes up the People's Trivia Company, please take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank Goodbye. you. Bye.